One time, I had a particularly tough supervisor, pretty misogynistic, not willing to listen, uh, very ready to criticize me and demean me, and it was really hard, <laughs> a really difficult work environment. And that particular Lent, I had a lot of resentment and frustration and hurt towards that supervisor. And so I decided that my Lenten practice was going to be praying daily for forgiveness. And so I did. And as I prayed, I would sort of feel like I was getting closer to forgiveness and closer to forgiveness. And then he would do something hurtful or ridiculous all over again. And the hurt would become alive in me again and I wouldn't want to forgive him and so then I'd pray some more and pray some more and and I would get closer to where I could forgive him and then he would do something again and I would see just how much I couldn't forgive him and in talking to my sister about it she uh, talked with me and she prayed with me and she in her prayer said may it be a forgiveness that could only be attributed to God May it be a forgiveness that could only be attributed to God. And I didn't even really know what that meant. Um, you know, just that it was greater than myself, but I didn't even know how it would manifest so that I would know, oh yeah, that was definitely God. But I kept praying and kept working towards forgiveness and trying to let go of the anger and the hurt and the resentment that I was feeling. And still he was him same self. He wasn't transformed into somebody altogether new. And I continued to struggle and I continued to pray. And then we were working together during Holy Week. And uh, I remember he was sort of leading and I was waiting in the sort of wings and I looked over and I saw him and the anger and the hurt and the resentment were gone. Not because of what I did or what I let go of, but because God had really answered my sister's prayer. It was a forgiveness that only could be attributed to God because I tried and I worked and I prayed and I tried and I worked and I prayed and I just couldn't get there. And yet somehow during Holy Week, I found myself there, not burdened by the pain and the hurt that he had caused, the resentment that I was holding on to. And, you know, to be honest, he was still his same self and we still had trouble going forward. But the burden that I had been bearing, that was gone. Forgiveness can be a messy and complicated thing. It often takes much longer than we want it to, but it can also be this miraculous God-given thing where God does something in us and for us that only can be attributed to God. If you are wrestling with a difficult someone in your life, at work or at home or in your family or in your neighborhood, I would encourage you to pray for forgiveness. And instead of making it your responsibility to let go, your responsibility to forgive, I would invite you to invite God to be a part of it. Say, God, I pray you would do something here. Offer a forgiveness that I can only attribute to you. Because friends, it is something wonderful. It is something beautiful. And it is something that is enduring. And that is a gift of grace. Take care, dear ones.